Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode. This is not the one that you've been waiting for, just to clarify. I know the next one appeared that it was going to be stepping our masks, but as you can see, we have no access to step our masks yet. So we are still waiting. The boatyard is apparently got us on the list and uh, we'll move the boats as soon as possible, but it's very slow and not much we can do about it so this week this is what we get up to we're an australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime we hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea as you can see we have no access to get to our masks so we can't put them back on the boat those two catamarans behind me gotta be moved let's hope that's what they're doing now we would love to put our mask back on this weekend, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. So yesterday was my birthday. I think I've got some new. So we didn't do too much boat work. We went to the beach, had a lovely walk. It was lovely, and then I had cake last night and yummy dinner. Birthday, dear mama. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hold up, mama. So that's the mast step, the mizzen mast step connects to the mizzen mast. So what we're going to do is just clean the plate that's up the top and reseal. These were obviously leaking water because it's quite badly, all the timbers all rotten in there. So it was obviously leaking water. We'll fix that all up so it doesn't leak and then we'll be good to put our mast on top. So in preparation for standing our mast, uh, we're going to get our turnbuckles ready. We're going to put a little bit of leno coat in here and I'm going to wind them out to their maximum extension here and we're going to put them on the mast and we're going to cover them up and just have a zip tie over them with a little rag around for now until, until we get the go ahead from the yard. Uh, we've got all our pins in the chain plates ready to go so as we lift our mast up, drop these on, we can just put our pins back in and away we go. We're just wrapping all the turnbuckles so that they don't get damaged during the lift. It's Dia de los Muertos. Day of the Dead is a two day celebration that reunites the living and the dead. Families create ofrendas, offerings, to honour their departed family members that have passed. These altars are decorated with bright yellow marigold flowers, photos of the departed and their favourite foods and drinks, of the one being honoured. The offerings are believed to encourage visits from the land of the dead as the departed souls hear their prayers, smell their foods and join in celebrations. Day of the Dead is a beautiful tradition for celebrating death and life in a joyful, colourful and positive celebration. It was a fun couple of nights and it wouldn't have been complete without riding the mechanical bull.
right, this is some lovely work in here that he did last night in one night. What is going on in there? Well, it's our POCO system, and that's what automatically activates the, well, a number of lights actually. It's going to do our underwater lights, and it's going to do our spreader lights, and it's going to do our courtesy lights. So it's a pretty simple install. Um, I was just looking for something to do last night, so I thought I'd get started on that. I've still got a wire, run wire to the, to the mast, but we're just waiting to step the mast so I can connect all that up and get our um, down lights, our spreader lights connected. There was maybe in the boat yard this morning, but did they move the boats that were in no, the way of our mast? <laughs> they didn't. They moved all the boats apart from the ones we wanted moved. But we're getting closer, and I couldn't help myself last night, so I got to try them out, and I put on the lights. Hit the on button, that's how easy it is. Press play, change the colours, do what you want with them, and uh, you can do that with the spreader lights and whatever other lights you got hooked up to the POCO system. It's awesome. They looked amazing. They're so bright, and going through all the different colours, I'm stoked. I can't wait to get in the water. So you can put it straight to your MFD. Uh, our one doesn't actually have, our Raymarine doesn't actually have the plug on it, but all new Raymarines have the connection. You can put it straight to your MFD and bring it up on the screen. You can go through any lights that you want. I'm going to do a little bit different too. I've pretty much using the POCO system for the underwater lights. I don't actually have a switch. So, but as redundancy for our spreader lights, I'll be having them work on both. So you can actually wire it so that you can do it digitally or my switch will actually do it like it always has for the lights um, manually. It just won't go through the colors because our spreader lights will actually have all the colors, but they won't as a manual switch. But just as a safety thing, if for some reason that was to fail, I'll still have a manual switch for it. Okay, so today, we're taking Morris out of the bed, he's getting neutered. We're going to be ready to take him with us and travel around the world, so that's very exciting. Are you excited, Rose? Let's go get your boss snipped. Yay! Can I get mine done at the same time, darling? <laughs> yes. We let Morris wander around the car while we're driving, which we just realised why we shouldn't. Um, he worked out how to wind the window down, and he was winding the window down on the window that he was like standing next to. It was like a second from him falling out of it. That was stressful. Where's hi? God. <laughs> this cat. It's a menace. He's a bloody menace. <laughs> but we love him. He's so cute. Mara time, mate. You ready to get those balls snipped off? Let's go do this. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Save me. Save me. All right, we just left him at the vet. He's gonna be there for two or three hours. We're gonna do some shopping, go back to the boat, get some jobs done, and then come back and pick him up. And he'll be all good to go, and we'll be able to take him around the world with us on the boat, so. Yay! Okay, so we dropped off Maritai this morning, and we just got a phone call from the vet, and they want us to come down because he's too upset and too aggressive for them to work on him. And it's just broken our hearts, so we're just going back to the vet now. So, poor the poor baby. Just went. And we just held, Lee held Maratai while he got the anaesthetic because the, the doctors were really lovely and they didn't want to traumatise him. He was a little bit, he was hissing at everyone and he was just really scared. Um, we he's, haven't been away like from him. So. He's a little bit like Sarah. Like he hasn't eaten today. So <laughs> if you've seen Sarah like talking now, you think, oh, but you see when she hasn't eaten, different. Different story. I think Maratai is the same. He hasn't had food since last night, so he's probably really agitated. He's scared, he's by himself, he's in a cage. Like, they're being really lovely and really, and we appreciate them calling us and letting us come down and hold him while he had that done because he did not like it. <laughs> it was not nice. <laughs> but he was a lot calmer that we were there. What have we got here, Moza? <laughs> oh my God, what have you done to yourself? <laughs> he's That's defeated. Nice. He was he was trying to get out, he just yes. went, you know what, I can't. It's too much. You think you're having a, a bad day? Just think of Maratai. He's not sure what's going on, he's still a little bit zonked. And do you still like his little of... suit? Bella's made him a little bit of a suit there out of one of the arms of her yeah, shirts, so what, I think. We were supposed to put a cone on his head, right? It's like this big plastic cone. 
So, because he's got a big incision all down his belly because they couldn't find one of his testicles, so he had a lot more surgery than he needed. Poor little fella's been running around with one ball. <laughs> hey, baby. Cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss us today? So he doesn't like it or open up his wound with uh, Bella. Google, what can you do other than <laughs> putting the cone on? And but we thought he like today's surgery would have been it's just a routine surgery and we thought it was going to be super easy and easy recovery but so now he's got yeah like a we'll show you but he's got a big long incision down his belly and it's going to be two weeks until he gets his stitches out and, and there's still a ball floating around somewhere <laughs> in there so it's the morning after the surgery it's day two hey Maratai what do you reckon mate how are you feeling <laughs> We put his cone on this morning because last just, night I didn't get much sleep. I had to put a shirt on him, but he was still really trying to lick. Let's show you scar because we haven't showed you scar yet. <gasps> oh. Everyone ready? If you're sensitive to scarring, don't look. He's got a very big scar. Oh. This little guy had one ball hanging out the back, and then they couldn't find the second one. So, hence the little scar on the right that we've seen going in and then they had to go deeper and they still haven't found it and then they sort of, I suppose, gave up, didn't want any more trauma. But um, he was put out for that. It was a very traumatic day, wasn't it, darling? It really was. So back to the boat works. It's pretty critical we get the boat works done and get back in the water. What sort of care is this cat going to need now? Oh, the next two to, weeks we're going to be busy. Me. Anyway, we woke up to a lot of movement in the boatyard and a message from Salvador saying they're going to move the boat in front of us. So, you know, the next couple of days or this weekend, we're not sure when. Good sign. The and mast. mast. will be going back on. Alright. I didn't sleep last night. I was going to be, I was like a whack. It's not going to be productive <laughs> for boat works, is it? Of course it is. I'll be why did you come into our life, Mr. Moritai? Hey? To bring Why? us joy. You look yes, like you just back. woke up, darling. So we didn't have a great night last night. Moritai, uh, this morning, managed to open up his stitches. Not the big ones, but the ones on the side. And everything was open. So we had to come back to the vet this morning. And they're just stitching up now. It was a better experience though, because we stayed while he got anesthetized. Well, I was hoping to get the exhaust pipe for the generator, but Maratai's use my funds. Yes. Animals, they can be expensive. We knew this. Uh, why we went back and uh, picked up a street cat, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, he's, he should only be quick and he'll be back and just yeah. sit around and wait for him to wake up and then can, uh, drop him off to the nearest shelter. But I can't now. So my advice to anybody, if you find a cat, you find a stray, make, him, make sure it's okay and give it to someone straight away. Don't get it attached. <laughs> we love him. It's worth it. Hi, so what we're doing is we've got some bronze bushes here. These were really flogged out. Um, probably because these threads, this is a new bolt, but the threads were really low, so they were really rubbing away on there. So we're gonna put a new bush in here. We're gonna use the bolt to pull that through, and then we should be happy days. So all I'm gonna do is put this bush in just to the length of this, and then I'll trim it off, and then I'll put my other bush in uh, all right so here it is here this is the main boom this is where it connects through here with a pin to the mast and it was badly worn out just from years of use I suppose so we've put some bushes in there because we didn't want the movement to snap this it looks like it has been reinforced in the past put it give it a little bit of love and try and get a bit more life out of it uh, I'll show you down there on the little mizzen what we attached to it but this here actually had like it was floppy sideways like this and you can see now 
there's no no play at all in it there's not even a miller play but originally that was like this so if we accidentally jived and put a lot of pressure on that we ran the risk of snapping this that's that's what we've been doing putting more bushes in there there's more bushes to go in the boom vangs there's bits like this where the alloys flogged out and we're going to put some more bushes in there so just getting all these little jobs out of the road of course we're forced to because they won't just move boats in Alcatraz. <laughs> prisoner here, isn't he? Yep. <laughs> Felt like that for a long time, actually. Look, look behind you, it looks like you're a prisoner. <laughs> you can do it! Get out! Are you having fun up here? Did you loosen it already? You've been inside for three okay. days. Uh, He's feeling something. better today. Look at him. Full of life, but that cup on his head is really limiting him. <laughs> he is not a fan. It's not like the market. Hey, you little cone head. It's so sad. But the alternative is not okay. We don't want you eating your insides out. Anyway, what are you up to there? Well, we've got no lights out here. And we were going to build a hard top and we're going to put in um, down lights. But we want to get back in the water. So we are not going to be doing that today. What we are going to be doing, we pulled the welder out, we've got a few little jobs, a little bit of plate up here, and then we're going to be using one of these Touchdome Lumitech lights that are waterproof. So for now, this is going to be our lighting, it's red and white, and I'm going to cut out some starboard, just got a few scraps here, we'll cut that out, make a little bit of a plate there, fix that on, and we should be good, we should have light. Get rid of all these cables, and because uh, we didn't have light when we are First left San Diego, and it is nice to have a little bit of red and white light in the cockpit. Got our poor little cat here. <laughs> he's loving having a run around. Yeah. He he's not liking having the cone on, but yeah. with the cone off, as you can see, there's been a little bit of blood there today. He's knocked it. So there's his main stitch here, and there's another little stitch here that's, that's been a little bit of. Open. We had to go back to the to the vet and re-stitch that. But we think what happens is he tries to lick and the edge of this cone just knocks the stitches. We've been putting a little suit on him but it's so sad he can barely walk with it on. He's actually pretty good with the cone on, aren't you? He's getting hey? better. He just can't lick himself which is yeah. very frustrating for him. We hold him though, we, we hold our hand over his belly and uh, let him go to town and Give him some has lick. a good lick in the afternoon and in the morning when he wakes some up. Lick time. Anyway, if you're curious of what welder Lee has, this is the welder here, thanks to Eastwood. And it's perfect size for us and our boat, and yeah. we'll be able to do little jobs. Like a scuba dive tank size gas. It's not a lot to do a lot of welding, but it's enough to do little odd jobs. Something breaks, and obviously we've got a lot of little things to tidy up along the way. We've got brackets for barbecues, we've got... Davits to attend to at some stage, we've got hard top brackets to make up. We've got a lot of little jobs here and there, so it's going to be constantly used over the time. Good fun. Barbecue, we've got our new Dixon barbecue. A new swank grill that's under that cover. We'll show you more when we're out on the water because who wants to see us cooking barbecue in the boatyard? It's no fun. Who's under there? <laughs> You're being awfully quiet, aren't you? Anyway, the kids were lucky enough, they got to go to the beach today with Jan and the boys. Our friends that are here, they've gone down the beach to Taj, and Nala have taken their spear gun, so maybe we can cook on the barbecue tonight. Maybe we can have some fish. We'll okay. wait and see. I'm pretty sure they took the camera, so ah, uh, here's what they're doing.
Unfortunately, there was no fish speared that day, but it was nice to get out in the ocean and have a day in the sunshine. So I've just been downstairs, I've cut this, I've got lots of scrap bits of plate stainless. This is going to go on here, I'm going to fasten this oh, to the... <laughs> Little Houdini's trying to escape with his phone on his head. Definitely don't trust him on, <laughs> on the deck with that on. Like, that would be overboard. <laughs> this will go on like so, and that'll be facing the sky. And then underneath we'll get our Lumatec light. And that's how it's going to sit, and we'll fix that onto there. And it'll be straight above head here. The wires here have been sitting there for months waiting. Got a lot of little jobs. I was going to do these at anchor, but actually got another boat in front of us. So there's no hurry around here in Mexico. There's no priority in getting the mast on. So I try and get all these little jobs out of the road and we might have a bit more fun on the water anyway. So it's a win-win. You can only do what you can do. That's why I'm going to do this. Make lemon, I eat out of lemons, hey babe. It's been oh. our motto here. <laughs> Ew, we don't want to put that back on. That's our yucky table. We need to do something about it. Look at it. It was a really bad idea whoever decided to make a table out of this stuff. It stains and it's it's gross. Are you going to do something about that, aren't you? I don't know what I'm going to do there. Get a new table. <laughs> the light was mounted and wired up and it looks great. The next few days we continued to tick some little jobs like fixing our door and floor in the cockpit while looking after Moritai and he by the way is healing nicely and even got some more time at the beach. Okay so what you're about to see next is not my doing. This is classic Lee and I really didn't want him to do this, but someone left a air conditioner here and he grabbed it and now he wants to put it in the boat. But I just looked outside and it looks like a whole nother generator situation and it's scaring the crap out of me because I want to leave. We have three air conditioner units on this boat. Uh, one works and two don't and they're really old and rusted out and they just look like not even worth wasting my time on. Well, this is nothing wrong with it. It looks like brand new. So I just went up to the rec room and grabbed a, a lead, cut the end off, put some power to it. I got myself a bucket. I've just plumbed up the pump that it came with. It's a 1600 BTU cruise air unit. And I just thought before we do anything, let's see if it works. And it turns on. Got the yeah. control panel, it goes there. freezing cold, and it's also reverse cycle, so we tried the heat out too and it's super hot. Perfect. It's a all-in-one unit, so it's a I'm just gonna sit this on the workbench and run some ducting to our existing aircon vents and call it done. One unit as opposed to three old broken ones. It's a score. The thing is, with our original air conditioning unit in the boat, three compressor units stacked on top make take up a huge amount of space in the engine compartment, which now once I remove those, they'll be shelves and I'll have all my oil and engine parts. Um, and then in our bathroom, under the sink, there's this part of the unit here, um, which takes up our whole sink so we have no storage under our sink. In Taj's room, it takes up half of his cupboard space and he doesn't have a lot of space to begin with anyway. So we get rid of that. And then in Bella's room, well, her room's big enough, it doesn't matter, but she does get more space. And then not to mention all the components and bits and pieces to our old system. It's just worked really good and really easy. It's a plug and play. I thought I'd test before. If there was any problems, I was just gonna bin it. Um, so we do have time to do this. Why do we have time? Well, why we have time is because there's still two more catamarans in front of us. They're emptying out the yard around us. The guy next to us wants to go in and a little bit worried. I don't want any damage done to the masts on the ground. They've been sitting there for like a month now ready to go on the boat. We're getting all our little jobs out of the road though and I just got another job so. If we stay here too long this is going to happen too often. You're not, you weren't supposed to accept any more free things. No, but I can't beat that. Like <laughs> I can't let that one go. It's a plug and play. Alright, well let's go rip out these old ones. 
Well, that's it. That's right, the guys. end of that episode. We wrapped up another episode. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Toes, fingers, everything. Cross the whole lot. Next week, we may be stepping our mask or we will be filling in our wig with something else. But no. it's kind of out of our hands unless Lee starts up the crane and starts moving boats around. Stay tuned. We will be stepping these masks. I don't know when, but hopefully very, very soon. So we can get back in the water. All right. All right thanks, Love guys. Is. Thanks for watching.